Hello, my name is Gabriella Rocha. I'm a nutrition educator for the New Jersey SNAP Ed program. Today we're going to talk about shelf-stable foods. Let's get started. And what are shelf-stable foods anyway? We're going to talk about how to shop smart for these food items and also give you some examples of different items to keep in your pantry. And finally, we'll talk about why shelf-stable foods are important as an emergency food supply. Well, you may be asking, what qualifies a product to be shelf-stable anyway? According to the USDA, shelf-stable foods are non-perishable products that can be stored safely at room temperature and stay good for weeks, months, or years without refrigeration or at least until after opening. In this product, they have been treated by heat or they have been dried in order to kill any microorganism that may cause foodborne illnesses. Now you may be thinking, what should I buy when it comes to shelf-stable foods? I'm getting quite confused here. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. And I'm gonna show you the list of foods according to my plate. My plate is the USDA guideline for healthy eating and my plate says that we should eat from all five food groups which are fruits, vegetables, grains, protein and dairy. Here's a list of shelf stable foods according to my plate. Let's start with the fruits. We have applesauce, canned fruit, and make sure you get that in 100% fruit juice and also dried fruit. Then we have vegetables. You can get canned vegetables and also canned soup. So make sure when selecting those canned products to select the low sodium version. Then we have whole grains. And with that, we have granola bars, mac and cheese, crackers, oats, popcorn, pasta, cereal, and rice. And my plate says that we should try to make at least half of our grains whole grains. Then we have protein, peanut butter, protein bars, jerky, canned beans, tuna can, and also trail mix. And last but not least, we have dairy, shelf stable cartoons of milk. And remember that milk is important because of the calcium content in it when we need that for strong bones. Now let's talk about produce that lasts longer. We have pumpkins and pumpkins can last up to three months on the counter or inside of a cold dark pantry. Then we have beets and that can last between two and four months when it's stored in the fridge. Sweet potatoes, you can keep them in a cool, dark area and they're gonna last up to a month. Then we have cabbage. When wrapped in plastic and stored in the fridge, cabbage can last for about two months. Then we have carrots. And instead of buying the baby carrots because they can be more expensive, pick up the full size variety of carrots, which is gonna last longer. You just need to place a paper towel inside of the bag to absorb moisture. And onions. Onions can last for a month or two if you keep them in a dark place inside of the mesh bag. Well, that was a lot of great information, right? And the good thing is, is that the list that I just gave to you include foods from all five food groups the fruits vegetables grains protein and dairy and we encourage you to eat a balanced meal by eating from all food groups so this way you can feel healthy and strong can you see how foods from the list can be part of my plate and also your plate think about it and start making those changes did you like the shelf stable food list? I hope so. And remember, you can always get a variety of fruits and vegetables that are frozen. They're gonna be just as nutritious and they will last for longer in your freezer. That counts as a shelf stable food as well. 
just by seeing those list of foods, you can see that we can prepare ahead of time and have an emergency food supply in the pantry. This food, they can be stored safely at room temperature. They can stay good for weeks, months, or years. And don't forget about the produce that lasts for a long time if you store them properly. And also, the frozen fruits and vegetables that will keep in your freezer for a long time. Did you like this video? It was helpful? I hope so. Remember my plate and try to make the best selection for yourself and your family. See you next time. Take care. Bye.